pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Can we have a moment's time of silence? Thank you very much. This meeting has been called. Can you hear me? I'll talk as loud as I can. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay. This meeting has been called in accordance with the provisions of the Open Public Meeting Act, and an announcement of the same has been mailed to the local newspapers and to the clerk of the borough of Belmar, and that minutes of this meeting will be available after board approval and at a subsequent meeting. Roll call. Commissioner Lynch is absent. Commissioner Orchard? Here. Commissioner Sharrick? Here. Commissioner Ramey? Here. Commissioner Casserly? Here. Commissioner McCracken? Here. Commissioner Misano? Here. You have a quorum. Okay, we need somebody to um, make a motion to approve the minutes from the um, April 1st meeting. I'll make the motion to approve the minutes. Second. Commissioner Orchard? Yes. Commissioner Sharrick? Yes. Commissioner Ramey? Yes. Commissioner Casserly? Yes. Commissioner McCracken? Yes. Commissioner Masano? Yes. All right, has everybody reviewed the bills? And if so, are there any questions? If not, I'll make a move to approve them. I'll second. Commissioner Orchard? Yes. Commissioner Sharrick? Yes. Commissioner Ramey? Yes. Commissioner Casserly? Yes. Commissioner McCracken? Yes. Commissioner Masano? Yes. I report to the Executive Director. Uh, well, in the two projects we're working on, the, uh, the elevator is just about completed. It's operational. Uh, the next step to finish it, they, they're going to come in and do the interior of the cab, uh, put up new panels and a mural on the back of the elevator. Uh, we have the check tonight, the deposit, so I, I, I'm sure they'll schedule it in the next week or two. As far as the scaffolding, the engineers were working on redoing the specs. Uh, they thought they could, there were several things they could do that would make it more cost effective. Uh, in my conversation, I think it was Thursday, they said they're just about finished and they'll give me a call back to s schedule the uh, walk, walk through with the contractors and then the bid opening, which will be a month after. Uh, so. Once we have that, dates we will proceed with that, and hopefully we'll get a bid that's within our uh, budget to do the work on the uh, facade. Uh, all the units are, are occupied at this point, and uh, that's all I have to report. Okay. Any correspondence, Amy? No, ma'am. Any old business? Any new business? We have three resolutions tonight on consent agenda. First one is authorizing us to go out to bid again for the building facade repair once the engineers uh, get the bid specs in order. Second one is authorizing the elevator change order, decreasing the contract by $10,000, and that was for the interior. We're going with a different company to do that for less cost. And then, I'm sorry, we're going to resolution. So those I just need approval for. Okay. Commissioner Orchard? Yes. Commissioner Sharrick? Yes. Yeah. Commissioner Ramey? Yes. Yeah. Commissioner Casserly? Yes. Commissioner McCracken? Yes. Yeah. Commissioner Masano? Yes. Okay. Any reports from the commissioners? Remarks from the general public? Anyone? Um, I have a question. Does the elevator get reinspected? Oh, address, I'm sorry, please. Anita, Anita Pacarelli, 103 Shark River Avenue, apartment 59. 
Um, does the elevator get reinspected? I know the state came in to you know start it. Does it get reinspected after each uh, bit of work is done, or or if that's just accepted? It was it was re, re it was inspected in the end and passed. So now the the mural you put in the wall or a mural in that, or that that has nothing. To that has nothing. Really worried about operation. They're not worried about aesthetics. Okay, so um, you, if I heard you right, you said the bid goes out a month after. Is there a reason why there's a month delay to put the bid out? We, 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 we once once it's published, the contractors need a, a period of time to prepare their bids. Um, it's out for a month. Out for oh, a month. it's out, out for, for a month. month. Okay, okay. So the, yeah, the preposition was in the wrong place. All right, I got it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Maria Rontanaro. I'm here, uh, Belmar Council representative. Um, there's a new program uh, called Easy Ride, uh, where two round trip, it, trip tickets. Um, you can go to medical appointments, wellness appointments. Um, it's a really good program. It's Monmouth County. It's through MonmouthCountyAxe.com if you want to look. I think it's .com or .org. Either way, I'll make sure to bring in some flyers to hang up if that's okay. Um, I know the Healthy Hop. Oh, thank you so much. The, the Healthy Hop. Um, I don't know whether that program is is not working. I know it, it's within. I just talked to a resident where it's only within 14 miles. So perhaps this one gives you a little bit more range. Um, but I'll find out more about it and make sure that you have a lot of copies of what Anita's holding up uh, right now. There's also a phone number to call. Uh, 732-683-2102. That'll be on the flyer, right? Marissa? That'll be on the flyer, and that's for Easy Ride. And then I just wanted to follow up with the five-year plan meeting. Um, is there a plan for um, like regular vent cleaning at the current moment? No. Okay. Is that something that we might be able to look into? Uh, we do. Yeah, we can look into it. Okay. Just the main vents. Okay. Um, and then also, um, it, I, I know we, we talked about this before, that it was very cost prohibitive at the time um, to look at changing back the thermostat so people can use their own thermostats in their apartment. Um, I, I have been hearing a lot of um, residents saying that that's a quality of life issue for them. Is there a way that we can look into that again? Or, I mean, I, I was looking into grants on HUD. Maybe there's something that we can do. Um, that might be, you know, might fall under that for heating or cooling, something like that. Well, in, in terms of, if my understanding is correct, they would have to put in all new wiring and rewire the whole building, which mm -hmm. would be very costly because all the walls are blocked and uh, not easy to drill into and to run wiring through. Okay. And were you ever able to get an estimate of how that much, much yeah. might be? Okay, all right, we can talk uh, uh, offline and figure out, you know, if we are possibly looking at options uh, for that down the road, because I think that will be a real help to the residents. Can I go back? Thank you. Um, now that the nice weather's here, is there um, a schedule of uh, property management? Um, the outside is looking very winterized and needs a, a good clean up. There's some like debris over here. There's a boat over here. The you know the grass is rather high. Well, the I boat's think, fine here. That, yeah, that's not fine. A, that doesn't have to be cleaned. So there's like debris around you know under the scaffolding. Marie, Marie is organizing a volunteer committee. You wanted to speak a little sure, more about sure. that, Marie? Uh, have we heard back yet from Rutgers with their soil testing? No. So what we've done so far is taken a, a soil. A sample to see what type of soils out there because a lot of a lot of times what I've heard in the past is plant, plants have been planted and then for some reason it doesn't continue to grow and that's because <coughs> initially the soil I'm not much of the planting person so I don't know exactly um, the extent of that but we'd like to bring some native plants in we need to make sure that they stay um, but I would like to organize a cleanup even yeah. before um, this happens. I'm not exactly sure that we're going to get the information from the soil in enough time to put the native plants in to make it look nice for um, spring and summer. But I can be in touch. I know Ellen and I were talking about this before and I, we can gather up maybe some people who'd like to be interested, you know, who are interested, uh, residents who are interested, and because this is, you know, your property, it's not ours. We don't want to come up with a, a plan that's not, you know, what, what you want. I'm, I would just be here to listen and you know see what we can get from the community as far as volunteers to help us. That sounds great. Um, I was speaking of some of the debris that's around the building that I would think would be in for the maintenance. 
um, like around this side under the scaffolding there seems to be maybe like a refrigerator or a stove or a grill or something and then over here there's some you know just kind of stuff that's left out it, it's not um, you know neat and tidy I was just wondering about is there a maintenance schedule that you know you go out and do the outside of the building no there isn't because we only have one maintenance person okay and those walk-in tubs we're, we're done with that issue the residents wanted walk-in tubs <laughs> If you want to pay for them, fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice. Where yeah. are the folks in now? <laughs> I wanted a sauna. <laughs> yes. All right, thank We're you very much. I in my own house. <laughs> I'd like an apartment with Riverview Place you know, yeah. and my own parking spot right up front. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. 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 Okay, anybody else? Okay, uh, actually we're going to go into executive session. All right, so authorization to go into closed session. They need a motion. I'll make a motion. I'll second. Maria, can I take this one? Oh, no, I got Commissioner one. Orchard? Yes. Commissioner Sharrod? Yes. Commissioner Rainey? Yes. Commissioner Casserly? Yes. Commissioner McCracken? Yes. Commissioner Masano? Yes. Thank you. Shut the phone down.